outermost perimeter of the Capitol complex. I'll send it back to you. Amy, thank you. Now to the very latest on the mass shooting in Orange. The suspect has now been charged, but his court appearance today was pushed because he is still recovering in the hospital. And we're now getting a more clear picture of all the victims. KKL9 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely spoke with the father of the nine-year-old victim, mm -hmm. who is obviously devastated he lost his only child. There's no words to describe the type of angel I had. As a tribute to his nine-year-old son, Matthew, Rafael Farias has posted a video on social media of his only child, a boy described to be beyond his years, but with the playfulness of a young boy. He's very also like giving, you know, they deserve more, daddy. Yeah, you don't need to buy me anything, you know, whatever you could afford, buy it. You know, as long as you give me love. It's very difficult at the moment because I never in my wildest dream expected for him to go first. Matthew Farias was the youngest of four people killed Wednesday at an office building in Orange. Authorities say he died in his mother's arms during a shooting rampage at her workplace, Unified Homes. Family members say Blanca Tamayo was critically injured. Her adult daughter, Genevieve Ragoza, died. Ragoza's father, the company's co owner, Luis Tovar, was killed, as was an employee, Leticia Solis. The gunman, identified by officials as 44 year old Aminadab Gaxiola Gonzalez, has been charged with four counts of murder and three counts of attempted murder for allegedly opening fire on a pair of orange police officers. This photo was provided by law enforcement, showing the suspect inside of the office building holding a gun. He was wounded by police as they shot at him through the gates at the complex. Authorities say Gonzalez locked the gates, making it difficult for his victims to flee. Cowardly, you know, person trying to take people's life, innocent, and taking my son's life. There's no name, you know, to call this person. And, you know, my heart's still in pain. Um, you know, I'm praying for the other victims as well. My heart goes to them. Um, life is not going to be the same. He was my, my drive, my engine. He was my hero. Several GoFundMe pages have been posted online to help raise money for the victims. Meanwhile, a judge is monitoring the suspect's medical condition to determine when he's able to enter a plea to the criminal.